Miss Moses. I hope you guys are doing well. I just want to give a shout out to Don. Don requested that I do a video about the PeopleNet. Uh, for those of you that don't know, PeopleNet is just like uh, a communication system that we have in the trucks. Uh, it's like a Qualcomm. Uh, it has our e-logs and uh, messages and all that stuff. So I personally use it together with the drive app. So I'm just going to explain how I use both of them during my day. thing we do is to sign in into the people net all you do is you enter your driver ID and your password as soon as it lets you in you can see right now it's off duty all I hit is go on duty and then it will ask me if I'm starting a shift for this vehicle then I say yes and then it will flag me for a pre-trip right now I just go and do my pre-trip you can customize the home screen the way you want it to look to do that all you have to do is to go to systems and then where where it says fleet home setup you go right there and then you have the opportunity to decide what you want to appear on your home screen on the right hand side that's what you have and then on the left hand side you have options that you can transfer to your home screen let's say I didn't want uh, systems to be on my okay let's say I didn't want load to be on my home screen all I have to do is tap it hit that button and take it out now if you look here, there it says blank if we go back to the home screen you will see that it doesn't have uh, what happened? Did I didn't save or what? Oh, I forgot to hit OK. So, load is out, it's blank. Don't be like me and forget to hit OK. If you look there, it's not there. So, you have the opportunity to set it up the way you want so let me go back and let me say if i wanted to put in um let's look for something else login hit that button okay and right there it says login so you can decide what you want to appear on your home screen you have a 10 spaces to choose from obviously to read messages all you have to do is to go into your inbox and then you have the, the ones that are sent to you, you have those that are saved, uh, those that you've, you've sent, um, and then drafts. If you wanted to send a message, all you have to do is you go to form. And then where it says free form, you hit OK. And then you type in your form and you send it. The other thing that you have in create form, you have different things that you can do. Now, most of this stuff, I personally use the app, like uh, when I get to a place, I just use the app to, to do like the arrival at Shipper, loaded at Shipper, um, all this uh, pre-plan acknowledgement, I just use the app. But if you wanted to, all you have to do is just say, arrive at Shipper, okay, and then you put in the information, that's it. Um, one of the things that we sometimes get are what they call high value load. Before they can dispatch you on a high value load, you need to acknowledge that you know that the load you're gonna do is a high value load. To do that, all you have to do is you go to create form, 
you go to briefing acknowledgement but you just hit okay put there and then you put in you see how it says load number you just put in your load number send it and they will know that you've uh, quote unquote been briefed sometimes when you go in your messages you realize that you have a lot of messages for example I have 27 messages 46 saved messages now if I go in there and I want to delete these messages I'll have to go and delete one by one like that it would take forever uh, because that's 18 times that I have to do that or 46 times if I wanted to just do it at once all I have to do is go into systems information and then here where it says services you go to services and what I want to do is to do empty mailbox I hit that select it and then I decide which I want to delete when I say that I do that it has done it for me so I want to empty so you can see it's zero I go there empty those and if you go back you see that it's zero I usually want to keep my um, my boxes um, empty especially for the inbox because if you get a message and you're driving uh, you can't really uh, use the uh, people net to do anything but what you can do is you can play your message and it will read you the message so if you have a bunch of messages that you haven't yet read or opened it will start with the, uh, the, the, the one that was sent first and sometimes if you have a bunch of them you can never get um, uh, to to listen to the current message so I usually want to keep mine uh, really empty if you want to get your pay uh, correct you always have to make sure that your trip sheets uh, are current and that you put in all the exceptions that you need to be paid for to do that all you have to do is go to trip sheet where it says trip sheet right there and here they're gonna show you the different um, load numbers that you have say for example I had um, MT84219 as the load number but you can see I put in an exception of another load number reason being that that was a cross town and the cross town doesn't show up if they give you like to do a cross town or a job assignment those don't show up on your trip sheet so you have to go in and manually insert them like I have done and then um, you see I have said cro uh, cross town so all you do to do that you choose for example if I was gonna um, be delayed here and I needed detention for this load right here uh, you see it's highlighted so right now that is done I'm on this one so you, you hit it to highlight it edit and then you choose whatever exception you you have they have like different exceptions say for example if I was uh, rail delay I would hit rail delay and then in here I would type in you can use either this keyboard right here or you can use the uh, the physical keyboard right there so you use that and type uh, type in and let them know why was why did you have a real delay and then uh, they will pay you for that so let's cancel so all again all you do to do that you go to trip sheet and then whatever load uh, you are on highlight it edit and then choose uh, if you scroll down you still have more like options you choose whatever your your exception is you hit it in here you type in now for me for example for detention you can type by the way you can choose as many as uh, as are necessary but for example for detention usually what I do in here I write in the time I say if I write in that I was there from I uh, say one o'clock to three o'clock and I, I put in one o'clock to three o'clock and then I also put in the amount of money 
they are supposed to pay me and I, I put the reason why there was a detention um, and always keep a record for yourself because uh, sometimes they will miss uh, stuff and they don't pay you for stuff so you always want to keep on top of it and make sure that you get paid for your stuff the other thing is a uh, logbook annotation so say for example you want to make some changes in your logbook all you do is you go to annotations and then you have two options either it's gonna be the existing one existing meaning that your current uh, status right now or the forgotten uh, status say for example if i got here and um, i wanted to go off duty uh, uh, maybe after five minutes or ten minutes i wanted to go off duty but i totally forgot and then i realized 40 minutes later i didn't go off duty all i would do is i would go to forgotten because i forgot to go off duty and then i would hit whatever the status is off duty i would have to put in the date which is already in there and then the time you put in the time you wanted to change status so if i wanted to change status at let's say 1900 it would be 19 then in here now when you're typing this make sure it highlights to blue sometimes it it, it takes a couple of times for it to highlight there you go and then you would put in um zero zero so that means i needed to go off duty you remember i hit the off uh, off duty at at 1900 and then i would put in the location say i was in dallas i'd put in dallas texas and then i have to tell them why i'm changing it so i would say i forgot to go i forgot to go off duty for my break and then um after you do that it uh, you would have to confirm it okay let's say i put in uh and then I go here and I put in you see now that I have it then you say okay and then it will tell you to confirm again as I said this is for the existing if right now it's, it's just gonna show us uh, what is happening you see how I've been you know like at 1407 I was on duty then driving on duty it just shows you stuff so right now it's showing that I'm all off duty and I went off duty at 1901 if you want to make changes again you go to annotations you have two options so you go to the forgotten duty status uh, whatever you forgot maybe you wanted to go into the sleeper you'd hit sleeper and then you put in the time when you were supposed to go uh, to change your status put in your uh, location and let let them know why you you forgot how uh, what why you forgot so for me i do use the people net together with the drive app and um so most of the stuff i do on the drive app but there are things that you can't do um on the drive app that you only ha can do on the people net also it's good to make sure that you know at least the basic things because if something happens and and the people net um i mean the app doesn't work then you can rely on the people net or you can be able to do stuff for example there are times when i've tried to do my loaded calls on the app but it won't work okay, for the loaded calls and uh, unloaded calls they are quite simple all you do is to go into form and then depending on say for example uh, I'm, I'm done loading i'd hit loaded at shipper okay and i would fill in all this information it it will ask you for information you fill in everything until you're done then you send it's it's, it's the same thing with the um, unloaded call you just uh, go to a form unloaded call from receiver same thing fill in information when you go to create form you see you have a bunch of stuff a bunch of stuff that you can use so you can go through this like road service the call request da, da, da. they have a lot of stuff that you can choose from the thing i like about the app is that i have all my pickup or if it was a delivery all my delivery information on the app and um, which means i don't have to worry about writing down numbers or figuring out which number they may need or may not need because 
all the information is on here i have the shipper id po numbers sometimes you get to a shipper and they want a certain number and you don't know which number so when you have the app that helps you out it shows you even where the load is going in case the shipper wants to know your destination the other thing i should also mention that i like about the app is um it has some information that can be handy sometimes you go inside the shipping office and if you don't have the app maybe you forget to write down your empty number well if you have the app it will it already has that information uh in there because when you were coming here you had to let dispatch know what empty you have so if you look up there where it says load details on the right hand side it shows the trailer number my container trailer container number um if if i was picking up a load where dispatch already knew the preloaded container it would be on the left hand side where it says loaded it would say pre somewhere there they would have like uh, i think like preloaded and then they would put the container number so if uh, the shipper wanted to know what container number because some customers just want to know the trailer you are picking up it would also be there so they would have the empty number i'm dropping off and the loaded container that i'm picking up so right now uh, i i only have uh, one container the empty that i currently have I didn't have to worry about getting the number because I know the app already has that number. So I just confidently walk into the office. The other thing also that I like is, as you can see, where it shows the pickup, it, um, it also gives me the arrival time. Uh, sometimes you may forget to have... Uh, you may forget to record what time you arrived at the customer and then you are there and then you have to calculate your detention pay well when you have this app that means you don't have to worry because all you have to do is you go and look here it will show you what time you sent your arrival call and then based on that time you can uh, figure out what your detention pay is now that i have my paperwork i'm gonna send my loaded call and to do that, all I have to do is I just tap the I've loaded and then I just uh, fill out this information. After hitting the submit, again, uh, they're going to ask me for to rate this place. I can just rate it and if they have restrooms or that stuff, I usually just keep that stuff and then I scan. That way I don't have to worry about going to scan this thing. So I just scan them right now. Take a picture. Ah, come on. And then I'm going to put these bills in the bill box for the driver who will pick up this load. But in case something happens and they get lost, at least they are in the system. And so that is my loaded call. I've, best, I've just touched the basic stuff that I use and uh, the things that I know how to do. Uh, chances are I may have missed something that you want to know. If you are with JB Hunt currently and uh, you are new and you, you need some help, uh, let me know what you want me to, to cover and I'll do my best to, uh, to cover it. But I think uh, those are the basic things I just didn't want to make it a detailed video and I really uh, as I said I use the app together with it so I think I've been able to cover most of the stuff that I know uh, how to do but in case I've missed anything just uh, sh uh, shoot me an email an email moses at driversuccess.com and I'll do my best to um, to cover it either in the video or I will I'll see how I can help you out all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye